Welcome, Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it may represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We have stay optimistic about your love life and give your relationship a chance. This could have been a disconnect now, like and maybe you have lost hope that this person's going to come back around or something, but they're coming back to work on it with you. All right. You may have noticed there is now a join button here on my YouTube channel. I have created a monthly membership. It is $4.99 per month. This will give you access to 12 exclusive, more extensive Zodiac readings. These readings will be available by the first of each new month, if not before. All of the readings for September 2020 are already up and available to watch if you wanted to view them today. All you have to do is follow the join button down below. If you don't see that, there is a link to join in the description box below. We have hyena, which says fear. This week over on Instagram, you guys chose the Mystic Fairy Tarot as the deck of the week for Earth Sign. If you want to participate in those weekly polls to help me choose what deck of the week you want to see for your sign, make sure you follow me over there. All the information is in the description box below. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands coming out with the Temperance card. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Aries Leo, like a strong fire energy. And their energy of the Two of Wands. We have the Sun card. We have the Lovers. And we have the Death card. Okay, under the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. So something is uh, is or has been unbalanced in regards to the situation or this connection, and it's about fixing that. Now they're going to want to come back in here and make things fair, make it balanced. Any additional messages, please, Spirit, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is the energy, please, in love and in life? What needs to come through? What needs to be known? What needs to be seen, understood here, please, Spirit? We have Sudden Wealth. We have Message. We have Poverty under the deck and Imprisonment. So somebody here is concerned about money, someone else is not. Um, I feel like you're going to get good news when it comes to money, career, or like a business that you're starting. Things are moving forward. There's good, there's good things coming in. This person, however, feels like they don't have enough to offer you. They are maybe in financial debt, so they're imprisoned in a toxic karmic situation, or they, they can't move toward you for whatever reason. Some of them actually could be in jail, or they're like under lock and key from a current partner, okay? They feel left out in the cold. This is very five of pentacles kind of energy. They feel left out. Um, some of them may have a lot of debt, okay? We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you're trying to be optimistic here, but it does feel like there was some kind of disconnect. You could have been married to this person, okay? Or you could have been married to other people. But Ten of Pentacles, this is about long-term stability, success, all right? Um, you know, having it all with someone, having complete comfort, the things that you need. I think you're doing very well. I and mean, because for me, you're coming through here as the Ten of Pentacles. That's your energy. Uh, and for them, they're kind of more in this Two of Wands, conflict kind of energy. Something that has to come, kind of come to a close or an ending. Um, I'm seeing this more as like something good for you. We have set, uh, three sevens here on the board, as well as the message card, which is also seven. Um, this is also 11, so 11, 11, okay? It could be very significant for some of you. Sevens could be very significant. I have seven, 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 seven. Just wanted to point that out because I feel like that's important for some of you out here. Um, yeah, you're doing well. 
you're doing well and you know I feel like good things are coming in but you're working really hard six of cups there's someone though that has not left your mind okay good news coming in working really hard on your stability your success your career your family your home doing those things for you but there's still someone here who has not left your mind okay you're thinking about this person think about the past should have would have could have missed opportunities okay this could have been a past lover an ex of yours uh, something like that or just someone that you feel a very deep soul connection with thinking back about the past thinking about the past we have the queen of wands this is aries leo sagittarius energy strong fire throughout this reading um Queen of Wands, male or female, this is somebody who has a lot of passion. You know, you're deeply attracted to this person. You want to move towards them. Maybe you don't know how right now. You wonder what their situation is. Some of you are, are determined to kind of get this to come back. It's like you're, you're, still, you're trying to manifest this, trying to stay very optimistic about it, trying to manifest positivity back in here. Uh, with this Knight of Wands and the Temperance card, yeah, you want to fight for this person, some of you, or you want to be fought for. Okay, you want this person to come here, restore the balance, uh, make an effort here because maybe they owe that to you. They need to give this a chance. They need to come back and make a decision, work on this. They need to give more equally to this because maybe in the past they did not. Uh, you don't want any kind of player type energies. You do want to heal something here. You want balance, equal reciprocity, equal give and take. It's like if I'm going to give to you, fine, but you're going to give back to me equally. That's the energy here. You're trying to be optimistic to... Re to um, bring forth this renewal, this reconciliation, reunion for some of you. It could be a past long-lost lover kind of thing. Um, some of you, if it's not past love, it's new love, okay? I mean, this can talk about a past life soulmate coming in for some of you. Uh, maybe, you know, you've really been dealt a bad hand in a previous situation. You've come out of that. You're trying to build your confidence back up. And, you know, you want passion, excitement in your life again. You want love that's equal. It's fair. Balanced. Give your relationship a chance. I do, though, feel for the majority of you, I feel like a, a returning energy would give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. They're not done. They haven't given up on the idea of this. Okay, Virgo, they want to come back around here. With the two of wands, it's about them making a decision. Think about the future. Some of them could have children, and I am seeing a couple of children here, so they could have children that could be a factor here, or this person could have been very emotionally immature. They're kind of just playing games here. Okay, they really have, you know, they're not even doing any of the work. It's like they have mushrooms to be picking, things to water, things to do. You know, this grass needs to be cleared. They have, you know, tasks. You know, they can go down this checklist, this to-do list of making things happen, preparing, you know, for a life here with you. But they're kind of playing foolish games right now. Or they had been in the past. This more past energy anyway. Like I said, they could have had kids. With the sun card here, this, could, this is Leo energy. They, they do want to be happy with you. This is about an awakening. You make them happy. They see the potential of this with you. There's a very nurturing energy about you. Um, it's like the way that you provide like this this healing, this warmth, this embrace. It's nothing like they've experienced in the past. And I say that here because I have the lovers right next to that, which is Gemini energy. But look at this. There's like this nurturing. They could see you as a wife, as a mother. Okay, they could see you or husband, father, gender irrelevant. They could see you as somebody who, you know, they could see, you know, having a life with, having children with, having stability with. They see clarity here. But look at how this nurturing energy, how she nurtures the child, she nurtures the man. Okay, it's like they feel safe with you. They feel nurtured and protected and loved. The lovers also are going to a choice in love. The choice, though, is to end something. Scorpio energy. They could be waiting for you to make a decision, or they could be trying to make this decision here. I do feel like you're going to get the good news. It's like you've been taking this time apart to kind of focus on other things for yourself. It's going to pay off in the long run. This person, however, they may feel like they don't have enough to offer you. They feel like they don't, they, they don't want to come in empty-handed. I don't feel like material things are, you know, your focus or priority. It's like we can build this together. We can start over. You know, you just want this person to give their time, their energy, their love. You're feeling really unbalanced about this. We have the King of Wands here too, the King and Queen of Wands. That's soulmate energy, okay? So the person again could have strong fire in their chart. A little bit of everything here. We have, you know, fire, earth, water. Could be any sign, but Six of Pentacles, making things balanced and fair. Apologies that are due here, okay? No more playing games. Two of Pentacles, make a decision. You know, this King of Wands, once he decides what he wants, he's going to go after it. You know, but there's fear. Fear of the change, fear of maybe losing something fun, especially if they have some kind of financial tie to a karmic partnership. That's a major fear here. There could be kids involved. They don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, but they want to come towards you. They do want to tell you this, but they're afraid of some kind of ending. Um, they're afraid of not having enough to offer you. 
You know, would you want to work together with them if they have nothing to give? You know, you may like them now, but maybe they're financially secure because they have a partnership that they're relying on. Or, you know, even if this person works really hard and has their own business, you know, or, or whatever the case may be, they could be very concerned because if you, they leave behind a situation to come towards you, they may not have anything. Let's say that this person's married. They may have to get a divorce, okay? Well, they may lose everything. Imagine if there's kids involved here. Uh, if this person, you know, works with you, you know, maybe the boss would not approve of that, okay? Uh, HR would have to get involved. If this person lives a distance from you, they may have to physically up and move. Maybe they're leaving behind a stable job they have, right? Something has to kind of clear out of the way. This person feels trapped. They don't feel like they have enough to offer as of right now, but they are working to make this decision. They do want to give this a chance. They're just trying to figure out how they're going to move ahead. There needs to be a talk about this. They find comfort and healing in you. All right, so Virgo, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.